Okay, in this example, we're going to uh, calculate and interpret uh, a percent change. So uh, this table shows the number of burglaries measured in thousands uh, reported in the city of Houston since 2007. So the data in this first column, which we're labeling X, is elapsed years since the year 2000. So X equals 7 would correspond to 2007, X equals 8 would correspond to 2008, and so forth. And the data in the second column, uh, which we're going to label Y, that's the number of burglaries. So 29 means 29,000 burglaries, 27 means 27,000 burglaries, and so forth. And so the instructions in the problem are we want to find the percent change in y uh, from x equals 7 to x equal 11. And then we want to interpret this percent change once we've uh, calculated it. So let's recall the um, formula for percent change. Um, if we give that in symbolic terms, the, the percent change is c sub 2 minus c sub 1 divided by c sub 1 and we want to convert that to a percentage so we multiply uh, that quotient by 100 uh, percent. Now it's usually easier to remember this formula in words so c sub 2 represents the last value uh, c sub 1 represents the first value so we can um, express this formula in words as uh, the percent change is last minus first divided by first and then again we want to convert that quotient to a percentage so we multiply by uh, 100%. All right, so let's calculate the percent change um, in this problem. So uh, first we want to find the, um, uh, the first value. So that's going to be the uh, y value that corresponds to x equals 7. And then we want to find the last value. So that's the y value that corresponds to uh, x equal 11. So we can see in the table uh, that our first value is going to be uh, 29 and our last value is going to be 27.5. So let's fill those into um, our percent change formula. So again, the last value there is 27.5. That's the y value that corresponds to x equal 11. And our first value is the y value that corresponds to x equal uh, 7. Uh, so uh, that was 29 in the table. And then we divide by our first value, which is 29, and then we multiply by 100%. Uh, so this is a fairly easy calculation to start. 27.5 minus uh, 29 uh, is going to be minus 1.5 divided by 29 and then we'll multiply that by 100%. Uh, percent. So at this point now it's going to be helpful to have a calculator so let me bring up our calculator and let's do this uh, calculation. So we have um, 1.5 and let's change the sign there to minus and we're going to divide that by 29 so that gives us approximately minus 0.51 and then we'll multiply that by 100%. So let me multiply by 100% here. And there's our resulting uh, percentage change. So that was um, minus 5.17 if we round off to a couple of decimal places. So our percent change is minus 5.17%. Uh, round it off to a couple of decimal places. So keep in mind now that percent change can sometimes come out negative, and that's what happens in this case. So there's the actual value for the percent change, but now what we want to do is interpret that uh, in the problem context. So we want to give a practical interpretation for this percent change value. So I'm going to do this in a couple of steps. I'm going to start off with sort of the generic interpretation of the percent change. And then we're going to sort of customize that generic interpretation to give a, uh, an interpretation that's a little bit more appropriate for the context of this problem, which had to do with the number of burglaries in Houston over a particular time period. So to start with just the generic interpretation of the percent change, we can say uh, something very simple, uh, just from uh, x equals 7. 
uh, to uh, x equal 11. Um, that value y uh, changed by um, minus 5.17%. And that interpretation is correct as far as it goes. But again, it's not very satisfying. Because in this uh, interpretation, we don't give uh, an explanation of what the quantity x really represents or what the quantity y represents. So that's not really uh, uh, a very practical interpretation of our percent uh, change value. It doesn't really tell us uh, anything about what that uh, uh, percent change means. So let's go back now and alter this interpretation. And let's fill in the meaning of the uh, uh, quantity x. And let's fill in the meaning of the quantity y. And that will give us a much more uh, uh, appropriate uh, interpretation of this uh, percent change. So remember, x here was elapsed years from uh, 2000. So x equals 7 corresponded to the year 2007. And x equals 11 corresponds to the year uh, 2011. So instead of saying from x equals 7 uh, to x equals 11, we can say from 2007 uh, to 2011. And so you can already see that gives us a much uh, a more practical interpretation or the start of a much more practical interpretation uh, of the percent change. Now let's also fill in the meaning for this quantity y. So remember y was the number of burglaries uh, in the city of Houston. So instead of just saying y, let's actually fill in the meaning there for that variable y. So that's number of uh, burglaries. Hope I can spell burglaries right. Number of burglaries uh, in Houston. Because that's what the quantity y actually represents. And um, we could say changed again. Uh, but uh, this is a negative percent change. So a uh, negative percent change indicates that a quantity is going to uh, decrease. Um, so let's say instead of change, let's say the number of burglaries in Houston decreased by. And then we don't have to include the sign uh, with our percent change, because that's understood uh, in that verb decreased. So see, here we get a much uh, clearer uh, idea of what this percent change is actually telling us in this interpretation. From 2007 to 2011, the number of burglaries in Houston decreased by. 5.17%. So I guess that was uh, good news for us, um, uh, for people living in the city of Houston.